Hey guys, it's Psycho Enigma here, and sorry I didn't catch the whole intro um, bit to the race and me stepping in the cockpit and whatnot. Um, as you probably saw from the uh, from the dismal qualifying session, um, with my first video on this channel, which I'm I'm probably not going to narrate qualifying sessions. Uh, if I do, I might narrate the top ten shootout, just something like that. But uh, yeah, we failed miserably, um, and for the record, I suck on Melbourne anyway, so that that. Is probably a contribution, uh, and also, I, yeah, I, d I don't really know how to explain it, uh, but we are going to go with a normal race strategy, and we're starting out on the, uh, see, I want to start out on the prime tyres, but I know that I'll, like, I'll suck early on, and then try and come back on options later, but I don't know if that's a viable strategy, I'm not too sure. I think ju just for this track, it's going to have to be um, go go to lap ten. We can't change anything on the car because of park fermi. You can only change the the front wing angle. For those of you that don't know, which I'm really can't be bothered to do. Everything else is all exactly the same on the setup. So I'm thinking we might as well just jump into this race, and I'm uh, I'm really excited about this channel. Hopefully, picking up nicely. Um, for those of you that have seen the teaser videos, um, like just me testing out the recording software and stuff, and the mic uh, online with a few of my friends, and uh, obviously that career race, just my one, before I reset and um, Budapest. You know, it all looks pretty good, so I'm quite happy. At some point I might do videos in 1080p, but I don't know, we'll see how this goes. Um, starting 18th on the grid, if I can get into the points, that will be fantastic. I highly doubt I will, but we'll have to see, and like, so here we go, we're going for the start, straight away, rich mix, and we're going to drop some curves to try and get brilliantly off the line, try and come up alongside Ricardo, although, look, our straight line speed, I think I've put too much downforce on, but we're going to look to sneak down the inside, and that, that worked out well, actually. Deploy the rest of our, well, some of our, more of our curves. Let's see if we can pull it off again in the second corner. Nice little run down the inside, and oh, we've hit the back of Hamilton. And I heard some crashing behind. Oh, we've run wide. So allowed Hamilton to get back through. But we are up into eighth place. So, really pleased with that start, and that that's one of the corners I kept screwing up on and qualifying. And I'm not too happy with the gear ratio. That's something I tend to use, that gear ratio that I've used for this weekend. And again, understeer. Taking me off track. Schumacher's all over our gearbox. But the gear ratio I'm using is something I'll normally use. Like, I'll drop it so I get more acceleration. And that's horrible corner cutting. And this is going really bad so far. Like, getting up to 8th is brilliant. I think I've put on too much downforce, to be honest. I needed to drop some of the downforce. And I think that I've set my car up too much for understeer, which... Normally, I used to go for oversteer, and I changed my setup recently to switch to understeer, and it just... It works out on some tracks, but clearly not on Melbourne. That means we are going to be a sitting duck on this straight for Schumacher. Where's he coming? Just going to use the arrow, cutting across. There's our one move across the track. And yeah, that successfully defending, we've lost three and a half seconds to Hamilton on the opening lap, and Maldonado managed to sneak past Schumacher in all the fun. But we've set ourselves up for the early race to get some points, which would be great. Speaking of which, did it actually put me on a normal fuel strategy? It did, so I think a bit of rich mix for a few laps before saving a bit until the end. But I went, I went for Toro Rosso, funnily enough. Um, I was uh, debating what team to go for to start with, and I didn't. I thought Force Inger and Williams are like some of those higher end, more not like competitive teams, but you know they genuinely fight for points. And I didn't really want to go for the bottom three, so I figured that Toro Rosso is a nice little point to go for. So hence why I'm in the Toro Rosso. Plus they have Kurs, and you know Caterham has Kurs, but I'd much rather have a this car compared to my compared to the Caterham because in this I might still have a chance to score points throughout this season instead of sucking um, 
obviously for those that will probably be able to tell, this is on Legend difficulty uh, against the AI. And uh, I have no flashbacks. And even if I did have flashbacks, I wouldn't use them in the video because it makes it look sloppy, in my opinion. But there we go, right. Saving all my curves for the pit straight. Try and get a good run out. And looking at the minimap, we're being gained on quite a lot. And now DRS is available, so that's even worse for us. Because now we've got a Maldonado all over us. Always oh, he going to go, always oh, going to go. Oh, he's coming down here inside. It looks like Hamilton's got past the Rester as well, and that surprised me about the qualifying, for those of you that saw the end results, of Nico Hülkenberg being really high up. You know, like, I understand that Force India is a decent car, and Hülkenberg's a good driver, but obviously the game not bring into account um, driver skill or, like, competitiveness of cars. And then Vettel just blew him out of the water. But, you know, that that's what Vettel does. And I don't know why, but in this race now, I appear to be having a ridiculous amount of grip on the prime tyres, whereas in qualifying you saw me struggling. Not too sure why that is. Maybe I'm just trying harder. I don't know, it's, it's not, I, I think, actually no, maybe it's me being a bit more reserved, because I was, I was pushing it far too much in qualifying. But uh, this, this is going better than expected. I thought we'd have at least dropped down outside the top ten by this point after that start. Can't hold it flat around this corner yet, and Alonso putting in a really quick lap. I think Maldonado's, Maldonado's coming through. Maldonado. Oh, great move by Pastor Ma Oh, dear, that that does not look good on me. Yeah, I'm not surprised I got a penalty for that. That's eight places up from our race prediction. Great job. Keep well, that up. sucks. I didn't mean to cause the collision. I should have given him the room. You've been given a drive-through penalty for unsportsmanlike Um, yeah, my, my apologies for anyone out there that wanted to watch clean racing, but there's the screw-up I was, uh, I was expecting. The car ahead is running the option tyre. We may have trouble closing the gap during So, the points finish now, probably completely out of the question. I don't know, though. We'll, we'll have to see. It was a good move by Maldonado as well, but clearly just... Me being there, and now we've got Massa closing down on us. I think what I might do then is because I've got like no chance of a uh, no chance of scoring points now. I might try and save a bit of fuel and then use it when I'm on the option tyres. While these guys are on the primes, roughly at that point, I'll probably be doing similar lap times, maybe a bit quicker. Yeah, there is a little queue forming behind us. Not a massive queue, but a bit of a queue, and someone's gone in. Not sh quite sure who that is. And here comes Massa. He's being smart and going for the inside. And look at that. That's ridiculous. Come on, you can get him. But we're going to stick to our outside line, and we're going to get taken out. Yeah. Just as I started saying, it wasn't going as bad as I thought we would. It starts going bad. And now I'm trying to get racy and I'm out breaking myself. Yep, that's typical. So I, 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 I'm I, starting to screw up. This is a good projection of how the season is going to go. Come on, let's, let's, let's just... Sure, they're going to accelerate away, but... As long as we finish above 16th, which was our projected position... That'll be that'll be all right, you know. I'll take that. That's that's a gain of position. I think I might take the drive through this lap, just then, and then drag it out till we're on the options, and then hopefully start clawing back some lap time. The, the, the thing running through my mind, and that's that's lag. The thing running through my mind at the moment is just downforce. You know, I've put far too much on this car. And it is nowhere near as fast as it should be. I'm going to take more risks in Malaysia. Malaysia is the second race here, it is. 
Right, coming in for our drive through penalty. And the Australian pit lane is just so slow, like 37 miles an hour. You know, it's like an age. So here we are. We're down in 15th. Then there's obviously going to be the huge gap from Hulkenberg, who's down in 14th for some reason, to Glock. So I think that's our, you know, he's our target for the race, Glock. Um, and actually, no, Maldonado's near the back, and he's going to be seeking revenge on me. So... I think it might be a case of Maldonado will get past us and then we're going to have to chase down Glock. That That's probably going to be the, the worst case scenario here. I know, I, I, want, I wanted this to be clean racing and I've already failed that already. Which kind of sucks. You know, it's, it's a bad depiction of me because I'm not, you know, I'm not that dirty when it comes to racing. There are moments where if someone's done a dirty move on me, I might seek vengeance. I say might. People watching this video are more than likely to disagree with what I've just said, but I don't care. And Legend on this game is a lot harder than Legend on F1 2011. Like, I could breeze through races on there winning them, but this is tough. I find, I find this a more enjoyable game because of it. it's, it's harder. And we took that actually came really nicely there. And we're back. Dueling with Pastor Maldonado. Only it's over 16th and 17th and not 8th and 9th now. And we're not even catching Glock, are we? Like, we're still 7 seconds behind him. That's embarrassing. But I just can't do this track. I don't know what it is. I'm just not quick on it whatsoever. I think Glock's going in for a set of prime tyres. A few people are in the pit, including our teammate Daniel Ricciardo, who's going to not come out ahead of us. So we're near where we were, because there's Raikkonen, and Raikkonen's looking slow. But of course our, our downforce on here is going to be Achilles here when I've braked far too late. Far too late. Oh no wait, no, I've kept it! I've kept the move! I've kept the position! That, that, I don't know how I managed that to keep that position. I know we're up to speed on our prime tyres, but... And we're like five seconds off the fastest lap of the race as well. It's ridiculous. Definitely need to do a setup overhaul and uh, crack down for Malaysia. Just a few laps till we pit though, and I'm pretty sure once we have options on we'll be faster. But at the moment we can just hold Raikkonen up. What's that fuel looking like? Is it plus? Oh, it's only plus two. I'd really like that to be at plus three, but I don't really want to go to a slower mix on this stint. That's the thing I don't get. I, I'm, I'm always of the opinion, you know, slower shit. Oh, God, we've gone. Oh, dear God, what the hell happened there? Okay, so this is this is poor. Stay out unless it's causing you problems. That was extremely poor. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Before I spun, I was saying something. Yeah, like normal fuel shouldn't take away any of your laps. Rich should burn it off. And Kobayashi's thinking about coming steaming up our inside, which is not going to happen. Yeah, Rich mix should burn it off, and lower should like slower should like increase it. But I've realised that when you're in Rich mix, you can. I think it's more realistic than last year, where you can burn fuel off a lot quicker than save it. Which I think is, you know, that's a good good call there by Codemasters. I might pit a lap early for these options, because the lack of front wing is going to gonna bug me. Or, not the lack of front wing, the lack of a small bit of my tea tray, as uh, the technical term for it. So, uh, yeah, for those of you coming here to see me actually be competitive on legend career yeah um, hope hope that went well for you you know we, we were doing well my keyword is were I would really like to finish 16th and I'm pretty sure you know I can't stress this enough option tires when they're on the car we will be faster maybe Possibly, I don't know. Trying to close. There's no gap to close. He's right on my ass. 
Someone else going in the pits. So what have we got here? We got Raikkonen's in the pits. Why is Raikkonen in the pits? I swear he had just come out. Great pace. Um, 133.8, so I would not consider that great pace. Kobayashi's right behind us. He's got the DRS. And Kobayashi's... Oh, dear God, this is like... I feel like Ricardo Zonta and Michael Schumacher and Mika Hakkinen are trying to overtake me. And that is a huge props for Ricardo and Kobayashi there. Um, but <laughs> that, that could have been scary. Three abreast into turn three at Melbourne is just never the way to go. And yeah, our option tyres definitely needed at this pit stop. Whack on those options and hopefully... Hopefully we'll gain a bit of time per lap. I don't know how much we can look to gain. I'd like to start doing 131 lap times. And completely off topic, I where the way I'm sitting, I have pins and needles in my uh, in my right foot. I need to get blood flowing back to that. You know, that's that's just a random thing I thought I'd tell you guys. And I'm not going to use my curves on the pit straight, so why am I not using it now? And you can see what I mean, where it's going up to sixth gear. Because I'm on auto gears just to make the commentary easier. Um, and going up to sixth is just not... It's going up too early, and it, like we lack the straight line acceleration, and I've totally botched that. And here we go, right, we're going in for a new front wing and some option tyres. You know, about a six second pit stop, hopefully something like that. And it sucks because I can see Kobayashi's coming behind us and he's probably just going for tyres. Yeah, look, they've held us. Kobayashi's got out ahead of us there. And we are down to 19th place. 20th place. What is this all about? 21st? Whoa, Kobayashi. Get some speed up, boy. Okay, so on on the basis of this has gone terribly, I mean, we can't be last, technically. I consider 24th last, and since there aren't 24 cars in the race, we officially can't be last. But this has gone shockingly badly. Get these options up to speed. Hopefully just overhaul these three, which will be nice. I'll put it up to Rich Mix in a bit as well. In fact, I think the sad thing is one of those is Fernando Alonso, the race leader. I'm not 100% sure about that, but... So if I've been lapped on my first race, that sucks. Yeah, you, you say we've got an, an advantage, Mr. Engineer Man, but can you see me closing on him? It's a joke, you know. I'm doing the same speed as Della Rosa. The Kobayashi is just accelerating away into the distance. This is a great example of how a good race can go to a shocking race very quickly. Alright, get back here. Okay, it looks like the car ahead is trying to create a gap. He's running full revs. Yeah, I'm running full revs as well. I'm after those guys. I'm after Kovalainen, and, and I'm, I doubt I'll catch Kobayashi. I'm not sure who's ahead of him. Oh no, that's Shaw. Is that Shaw Pick? See the Shaw Pick or Timo Glock, and I'm pretty sure Glock's in 16th. So that's probably Shaw Pick. But we're struggling to catch them. That is, that's bad. That's Kovalainen. Go for the overtake. Hamilton with the fastest lap. That means they're not too far off lapping us, which is incredibly suckish. And Kobayashi has just accelerated away into the distance. Slower traffic ahead. Be careful when overtaking. They should let you through. That's wishful thinking. That is very wishful thinking, Mr. Engineer. I'm not. You're coming up to one of the Marussia cars. It's like they, these guys aren't slower traffic. I'm actually racing them for position. Shall pick for 18th place. 
And again, there's someone going quite slow up there that Kobayashi appears to be uh, gaining on. And whoa, okay. We've got the DRS there. And we've done a 131, so that's our own personal fastest lap. And of course, double DRS zone in Australia, which is always nice to get, so we're going a bit faster here. Try not to botch this corner. No, we've got that quite nicely. Weber responds with the fastest lap. So yeah, we're not far off being lapped at all, which I really don't want to happen. So I will defend my position until it gets me disqualified, basically, is what I'm saying. Five seconds down on Kobayashi in like two laps since we exited the pits together. And we haven't really got much fuel left either. But let, let's see what kind of lap times we can now do. And I hope this isn't a depiction of the whole season. I'm really hoping that we will bounce back and score some points later on. Like, I'm not hoping for, to win. Like, if I could win the championship, that'd be fantastic. But I really doubt I will. Um, but I don't know. We'll see how things go. The first season is always the toughest. And Kobayashi appears to have caught someone. Has he overtaken them yet? That's Glock that he's actually caught up to, so... Which kind of sucks, because that's the position we need to be in to fulfil our objective for the weekend, and he's passed Glock. So we're not actually that slow now, you know, 130.4 with... You know, a couple of seconds off race pace. But it's not too bad, I guess. Considering the setup, which I, I'm putting this entirely down to my setup, I didn't do a practice session, I really should have done, to realise that my straight line speed and everything is just dismal. But uh, I'll, I'll take 17th, it's a place up, because we're where we started at the moment. And I'm pretty sure I can catch. Between you and the car ahead. I'm pretty sure I can catch and overtake Glock. I hope I can catch and overtake him. I oh know, Kobe actually caught him a lot quicker than me because he was going a lot faster than me. Let's, I would love to try and break the 129 barrier as well, like in lap time. And that's a sign that my fuel is uh, looking bad. So down into standard mix until we can pass Glock. Because the last thing I'm going to want to do is what I did at the end of qualifying, and that's run out of fuel. But we're gaining on him. We're certainly gaining on him. This is like the most epic thing you're going to see. A duel to the death in the final laps of the Australian Grand Prix for 17th place. Psycho Enigma versus Timo Glock. You know, this is a, a race of the future here. I'm still in the 1 minute 30s, which isn't really that bad. I mean, we're two seconds off the pace, but for Toro Rosso, I don't think that's too bad. For me, personally. I don't know, you guys are probably going to disagree. You're going to be like, oh, you're the worst F1 player alive. and I probably could be. But let's... Let's just overtake Glock and move on to Mel uh, not Melbourne, Malaysia, because this is a weekend to forget by a long way. And we're running out of laps. And I do believe that is Fernando Alonso behind us, race leader Fernando Alonso. I'm not being lapped. Like, I will take a penalty if it means not being lapped. There it is as well, Fernando Alonso. Okay, we need you to make way for the car behind. I don't want to. I don't want to. Fine, you know what? Just just go. I don't want to be disqualified. That's that's the problem. That is the first time I've been blue flagged in like forever on an F1 game. That was embarrassing. I'm losing feeling in my foot again. I need to, to wear a new recording position. Whoa, okay. Yeah, Glock's, Glock's got away from us. Then again, I suppose I just got DRS off Fernando. No, wait, no, he lapped us. No! Oh, God damn it. Oh.
Oh no! Jensen Button and Lorraine Carter Kane and, and who else didn't finish? And Vitaly Petrov didn't finish the race. Like, think at one point I was I was like between Deresta and Schumacher. Like I I was up there racing them, and instead we we came 18th. Um, that's poor. Granted, uh, it's let's continue over, and obviously you, you're gonna see the the championships, which is pretty obvious that you know that it's gonna be where everyone finished. A, a really strong showing from Sauber, and the Mercedes are looking okay. Felipe Massa, you know, I suppose they got that bit of drivers thing right, where Massa is paling in comparison to Alonso. Um, you know, a strong show from DeResta, Bruno Senna getting a point, but we're going to bounce back, we're going to hopefully get up in that mix at some point, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this first race, um, you know, my commentary was not only terrible, my driving was also appalling, so two of the things you might have come here for are quite bad, <laughs> but I will see you um, next week for the Malaysian Grand Prix. Um, you know, if you haven't guessed, these videos, qualifying sessions, all three of them going up on a Saturday, races going up on Sunday, weekly uploads for those. On the channel, I'm going to look to do other games as well, not 100% sure what they are, but this is like Psycho Enigmas, you know, you, some of my subscribers, um, you know, some of you out there may know me from my Pokemon videos, um, they're still going to happen, don't worry, uh, but this is me jumping into a bigger, broader world of gaming. Um, so I hope you enjoy those. The Pokemon channel will continue to be updated as well. So uh, I would like to thank you all for watching and see you in Malaysia.